Hi everyone, this is Yaya. Of course it's Yaya, it's my channel. Um, anyway, it has been quite a few weeks since I've posted anything to this uh, YouTube channel, so I wanted to do just a couple of quick videos um, to give everybody an update, show everybody around. First we're going to do the community center and then um, I'll also take you into the hub, um, the nether hub, so you can see where we've increased the uh, size of it and decorated that out some. It's still a work in progress, but you'll see when we get there. And then after this video, I'm going to try and do a couple smaller short videos on a few of the um, players builds. We've had quite a few new players who've joined the service uh, the server since the last uh, YouTube video so I won't get to everybody because there's so many but I would like to do a couple of um, of uh, videos of some of the bases anyway let me show you around as you can see from behind me I've changed the entrance to our community center also known as the Capitol building and we've decorated for Halloween So I just added this little portico area because we were having a really hard time with uh, creepers coming in and blowing up things from over in that direction. So I have a couple of capital guards out here to protect this entrance in case some happen to get over this direction. And then I posted another capital guard here and one in here just in case. Um, more importantly, I spent all day yesterday leveling a big mushroom mountain that we had right there behind this uh, chief's um, glass shop. And then I filled in this area, which was a deep valley area of sand, which is why the grass is a different color. Um, and then I put this fence up to keep them from coming in as easily. This is Wicked's shop. It's a new shop in the community. It's called Hire Me. So she, we're missing a few signs because of uh, said creeper explosion, some other issues that happened. So uh, she has to get those replaced. Um, but anyway, so this is her shop. Um, and she is for hire for things on the server that other people don't want to do. Like she chopped down a few stacks of oak for the wood shop for me. And this is still Chief's shop. Here's some more of the fencing. We put some fencing here they can still walk over mobs can this direction but it'll take them a lot longer to pathfind to get up to our area and then of course we still have the dragon the flaming dragon is here uh, this is hounds shop he sells uh, odds and ends different things primarily uh, bone block is why I see him because I use a lot of bones for my trees so that's where you go for bone block and then back over here we have Worm, who's a new player since the last time I updated a video. Uh, he's building a shop there. And then this is Joe Mazing's shop. I believe he's new as well um, since the last time I did a video. And his is a head shop. So he has all kinds of really cool mob heads in there. We are using Foxy's mob head add-on. And then he also sells his exotics, which are beacons with roses in crystals that kind of stuff and then we have we still have uh lab core or coho's uh shops here the in shop and his guardian shop and then over here is dreads nether have i ever he's working on this build um, but he's been off the server for a few days because he had to welcome a new addition to his family so he'll be back soon to finish that this is Ronnie. He's one of our new players, him and his wife, Bard. Um, he's opened a really cute bee shop, or honey shop, not bee shop. I love the little bees he put up here floating above his honey block. Adorable. As you can see, we still have plenty of mushroom uh, real estate for more shops and other builds. And then this is uh, Bard Owls to die for. Uh, dye shop which we needed she's just opening this uh, place she's just finished building it out I think yesterday um, so that's a welcome addition to the server because we definitely needed dye especially right here because this is potatoes glass shop and he doesn't have any colored glass yet because he's been waiting on a dye shop to open up so hopefully he'll stock up that dye soon or the colored glass soon and then we have Goose, 
who was um had before i think i showed you he had an iron golem for his iron shop and then he had a wool shop over there he's taken those two builds down and he's consolidated them into uh goose's pit stop so which is super cute it's gonna be like a gas station kind of thing um so he's selling all of his wool is here and then all of his iron stuff is here and then he, i believe he's going to add some quartz uh to his collection of things and then this is going to be a little eating area a lot of gas stations um, and convenience stores especially in the u.s we have little eating areas for people to buy pizza or food or whatever and then they could sit down and eat oh and then he's also moved his uh new stand inside um his his uh pit stop as well and then he has a pharmacist now the doctor this is where we get our prescriptions and then go over to his potion shop which i'll show you next uh to get our prescriptions filled too cute anyway so this is the pit stop oops this door is quite fast you gotta be quick Just gotta run you get squished and of course, we still have the Gold Emporium and the bank and all the other builds that we had before. Although I'm reconsidering the Gold Emporium, um, I may tear this down and put up a smaller shop, maybe inside the nether somewhere, um, closer to where the uh, Piglin Trading Farm is. And then this is Mr. T. He's a new player. He's getting he's building uh, a food shop here. As you can see, it's in a, a work in progress. He just has the platform down right now. And we fought the wither a few times and we've got a wither killer set up. I believe it's a, a silent whisper um, uh, style and maybe a, one other ones because we have two different ones um, in the end to kill them. So it makes it a lot easier for us to get our beacons. And then this is the potion shop or the pharmacy um, as Goose calls it. Absolutely adorable in here too. Love the purple. Of course it's my favorite color so course I'm gonna like it and then the last thing is our community center because we had so many new players join it became very cramped with the mailboxes that we had set up originally if you remember right we had mailboxes over here on this side and we had mailboxes over here on this side so we took I took all those out and I built us a post office and put in a couple of other smaller things here like our community board we've updated our map for our actual um, shopping district and then our carnival area and then i've also filled out the big map and put out all the maps that have been explored and i don't think we'll probably put up any more this is probably the most that we have um, most people are within these 12 maps And I'll show you the post office. We still, as you can tell, we still have a lot of landscaping to do. I've been spreading grass as much as I possibly can. Because I would, <clears throat> excuse me. Um, because unlike Grian and others on Hermitcraft, I am not part of the mycelium resistance. I hate mycelium. So I do whatever I can, as often as I can, to uh, spread grass around. And this is the Planet Creeper Post Office. It's a modern industrial type build. I wanted it to be different. This is Bandit. He's our Postmaster General. He keeps an eye on the post office uh, going on, people coming and going. And here's all of our post boxes for all of our um, all of our community members so far. And as you can see, I have plenty of room to expand. Um, but we had so many people join so fast over the last couple of weeks that I've decided to not recruit for another couple of weeks so people can get settled in. But I'll go back to recruiting again probably uh, sometime in mid-November or early November. I'm going to be out of town for a couple of weeks. I'll still be on and playing, um, but I don't want to recruit while I'm out of town. So when I get home, I'll probably put up a new recruitment request. Well, let me sleep. Best way to keep mobs from coming into the shopping district is to sleep. And while I'm here, I might as well check. Oh, I got a honey block. 
Ooh, and I got some pumpkin pie for Halloween. That's awesome. I think I'm going to put that out in some of the... We're putting up treat boxes for people uh, in the community. So I think I might share those. Because I do not need 64 pumpkin pies. I literally do not need that many. Oh, and I set up a little cart for my scaffolding over here. Out of the way. And uh, Carly set up a little book, a little book stand. Um, these are little temporary stands because we run out of books a lot in the uh, bookstore. So people really like them. So other players have decided to sell some of their books to make up for the difference. Let's see. I'll put most of these in here. How did I? That's weird. I'll keep these for myself. I don't need 16 of them either, but I'm going to keep them anyway. Let's see if I've had any sales today. Oh yeah, I got the Enchanted Apple. Um, or uh, yeah, an Enchanted Apple. I bought one from a shop. So I've made the official Mojang banners and put them on all my builds with the corresponding colors. I know I should probably do... Ooh, I have a sale. I know I should probably do uh, Creeper Heads instead of the Mojang banner, but I really like the Mojang banner. I'm going to use it. Or Mojang, depending on how you say it. People, Different people say it different ways. Let me check my tree shop real quick, and then I'll show you the nether hub. <coughs> Excuse me. Had a little bit of a sinus issue lately, so... Another reason why I haven't been making any videos because I've lost my voice has been coming and going over the last couple of weeks. In the uh, oh, in the Nether, we have uh, I've really struggled with how I wanted to design it. I've got the basic design down and it's built out, but I know there's a lot of more detail that I want to put in it especially in the open areas so I've just been brainstorming and I fell in one of my cobwebs and I did it again um, I've just been brainstorming ideas of what I want to put in the uh, actual nether hub area so when we get there we'll see what I'm talking about I also since the last video uh, straightened out all the tunnels so that we had straight tunnels going to all the primary cardinal directions and have been putting soul soil down for everyone who loves to use soul soil. Soul so this is the nether hub it's really different from the last time I videoed in here as you can see it took a lot a lot a lot of quartz a lot of quartz a lot of people mining for quartz and me buying lots of quartz from uh, villager trades through Goose and I think I hired Wicked and she got me some quartz so as you can see lots of quartz and this is the areas that I'm trying to figure out what I want to do with I'm sure I'm gonna come up with something but I'm not exactly sure what maybe like I don't know statues or something I don't know I don't know how I want to do the floor this is the first trial area I've done and it's cute, but it's really not what I was looking for, so not exactly sure what I want to do with it. And with the ceiling, um, I just decided to make this main pattern along the ceiling, the cardinal directions, and then go with the quartz for, for the primary. And then Goose made us banners so we could see the cardinal directions, north, south, east, and west. And then we also have a book um, here on this stand so that people know where everyone lives because it's a pretty busy place. So each tunnel, first you locate the tunnel, and then when you go down the tunnel, there's different signs for each of the different bases. The west tunnel hadn't been utilized at all in the last video, but with so many new players, we have quite a few people who live down the west tunnel now. And I haven't even started uh, the decorating process for it yet. The south tunnel I've done some decorating on, but it takes a lot of resources to do these hallways. Um, and a lot of growing the uh, warped wood. So I have got a lot of resource gathering to do. And I've got a, a basalt generator set up, so I've got to make a lot more basalt too to get through all these tunnels. And 
then we have over here. Remember, we used to have the big Pidlin trading farm right here, and I've moved that to downstairs, so it's out of the way. And it's back here. And this is based off of a Prowl design. I believe it was Prowl. He, his is set up for eight, but we didn't really need eight, and I didn't have eight piglins, and I did want to try to go get four more. So it's set up for eight, but it only has four in it, so it's really not that effective or efficient. It, they drop a lot of gold, and we have to recycle it quite a few times, so I don't know. I may rethink this and go ahead and get four more piglins to put in there so it works correctly. And then this is just our sta my staging area for all the supplies I need for the nether to build the nether hub out. And here's an exit out into the uh, out into the uh, crimson biome. And then Joe, we used to have a very janky entrance to our Nether fortress, and Joe has taken it and made a really nice entrance down here to the Nether fortress, and he put in doors so we could get out into the different biomes safely. I'm not sure what that's for. Staging? I don't I don't know exactly why he has that there. But as you can see, here's a door to the Crimson Forest. Then we have a door to the Basalt Delta way down there. And then we have another door to the Warped Wood Forest or the Warped Forest. And then there's also a door to um, a Blaze Spawner that Hound uh, built and he runs. Because he sells blaze rods and blaze powder in his shop. And then one last thing I want to show you as a community build is the uh, racetrack. So I don't know if I showed you this in our last build or our last video. If I did, it, I don't know if it was complete. I, I can't remember exactly what all we had completed of it by then. So I'll take you out here now and you can see it. We ran our first tournament a couple weekends ago and it was really, really fun. Everybody really enjoyed themselves. Oh yeah, this is, uh, Goose has been building this out. Uh, this goes out to Goose and Carly's bases. It also goes out to uh, my vacation home, which I'm is actually going to be a vacation spot for any players who want to come out there and build like a little cottage or a little cabin or an RV. Hound's already put an RV out there. And then this direction goes back to a couple other bases. Um, Ryanian and Kali Babe have bases back there. And he runs a train down here I could take, but I'd rather just run. Especially since minecarts are acting wonky right now. So I'm just going to run down this. This is a really cool tunnel. Looks like a subway tunnel. used to spawn a lot of skeletons in it, but now that he's got it built out, it's relatively safe. And then this is a tunnel that goes... Oh, it looks like Goose has moved the way to get to his portal. That's cool. Um, I haven't been down here in a few days. So this is the tunnel that leads to the racetrack, this direction. And then all the way back here... Oh, you can take this down into the nether and kill skellies. And then all the way back here is the vacation home area. It's so far away from the rest of us that it actually starts a whole new map series over. So that's the portal to go to the vacation area. I'm not sure where Goose has moved his portal to. So maybe he's just closed it off for right now? Not really sure. I'll have to ask him about that later. But what I really want to show you is the racetrack. So we'll go down here. Carly did an amazing job building this racetrack out. I built the barn and she uh, she did this is yeah these are doors that go out to the basalt desk as well. Um, she built the or I built the barn and then we collaborated on the entrance to the track to the racetrack. I wonder how Bird got here.
birds have been acting very strange as well. For quite a while, actually, they've been acting very strange. Oh, it's almost night time. Let's sleep. Oh, gotta wait. Still waiting. She has a tunnel. We have a tunnel. I decorated it. She dug it out. That goes all the way to the other side of the racetrack. Like any other type of track you would go to. Most of them have uh, underground tunnels to walk across to the other side. Oh, look at all those burners. It's crazy how many mobs spawn all the time out here. And this is the outside of the entrance to the visitor center. Like I said, I don't remember for sure, but here's the barn. Oh, looks like we have a barn invader. Let's get rid of it before he gets the kitty. The barn cat needs to move right over there in the middle. So we don't have any creepers walking up. This is inside the barn. People who own horses can choose to keep them out here. This is pack rats, super stallions, which only right now includes pack mouse. I'm not sure who owns these horses. I don't believe they're named yet. And then these are Diamond Y stables, which are my horses. There's Maximum Ride. Shadow and Frank. Maximum Ride is a max speed horse and his one has fair share of horses. And this is another max speed. I think. Oh no, this is the high jumper horse that we've kept out here because we wanted to maybe do some hurdling competitions. Oh, I did not mean to do that. There we go. I knew there were some drops out here. And then these are the spots where you would tie up your horse and rub them down after their race. Clean them up, that kind of thing. Extra saddles, armor. And then out here is the track. And I'm going to come in down here on the back entrance. Carly installed all these daylight sensor lights, which are really cool at night. We still want to put up big stadium lights, but we haven't done that yet. And here is the race track. Like I said, I can't remember if we saw this before in my last video. I don't think we had it completely built out by the, at that point. It also includes the press box up there with the name Creeper Derby on the roof of it, on the ceiling, so you can see it when you fly over. And here's the winner's circle, where the winner stands after the races. We also have a barrel racing section set up. We haven't ran any barrel racing yet. We've just been doing regular racing. And of course, there's a Bannerman out here because, you know, they're everywhere and they're annoying. Yep. And then this is our start line. The gates, the starting gates. It's been set up um, by Goose. He did the redstone for us. So if you ring the bell, it turns on the lights and opens the gates so the racers know when to start. And then they race all the way around the track until they cross the finish line down here. And then, of course, we have a few attendees waiting for the next race, also known as cats, to keep the creepers away. LOL. And then we also have someone decided to bring a Johnny over here as a spectator. All he wants to do is kill things. <clears throat> I hear you, dude. I hear you. So this is about it. This is the most updated um, video for the community center and the racetrack. And I appreciate you guys watching. Leave a like if you liked. Follow if you don't follow already. And let me know if you have any ideas for what I could do uh, to decorate out the nether hub because I'd really appreciate it. Hopefully I can get on more of a regular schedule for um, videos because I really enjoy doing them. 
But like I said, I'm going to be out of town starting on Friday for a couple of weeks, so I probably won't get to make any more videos until after that. Um, anyway, you all have a great day. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon.